Hey tubes, here you go. Got a special day in engine history here. This thing hasn't been started in probably 50, 60 years or so. And Mike uh, pulled it off of that daddy dirt bike over there. Say hey. hey. Got a little dirt bike here. And hey, Mike. Hey, Dylan. Say hey, Mike. He bought it off of him and they got it. it. It was originally in a little swamp. That's why you see all this. This one is a rusted up and this one isn't rusted up as bad. It was sitting in a, in a big swamp, all frozen up. And uh, if you've seen Mike's original videos, he had to unstick that piston. Had to use a 60 ton press, but he, he straightened it out. He fixed the, the head, the, the piston was cracked, and the, the cylinder wall was cracked, and put a lot of work in it. Many people said it wasn't going to start, but not Road King. Road King had faith in Mike. Right. And this is it. We're, we're here to see it going to start. Right. You ready, Mike? Yeah. All right. Uh, Give it a whirl. All right. Whoa. He's got it hooked up to propane right now. Well, yeah, that's uh... It did run on natural gas at, at one time. Right, right, it had to, but we can uh, easily make it run on propane, hopefully. There's some big wheels. Hopefully easily. Um... Yeah, that's good. We're Mike's garage here. This the, we all drove about 30, 40 miles to see this. All right. <laughs> no pressure, buddy. Trying to beat the rain, we got a big rain cloud here right above our head. Look at that! Oh yeah, yay! But over over yonder, it's clear. What are you doing, there, buddy? With that? That's cooling water. Oh, you had to run through the system? Well, temporarily, since I don't have a cooling tank for it, I'm just using the garden hose oh, okay. valve just to trickle some water through it, so don't get any hot spots. So you don't right. that new sleeve we got. In the there. tubes are going to ask that. How, where you, how are you cooling that thing? Yeah, they really I didn't even know. Go ahead, buddy. I want to see you spin them wheels. Yeah. Check out this uh, wheeler. Dual what do they call it? A dual feed? Yeah, dual feed wheeler. Uh, Alright. There's his intake there. Did a nice job, man. Thing looks really nice. Thank you. Right. Got Champion X block plug up here. Go ahead. You tell us when you're ready, buddy. Alright, stand back. I might just shut it off and then shut it by yeah, itself. Yeah, shut the gas off. Wow. Fine that tune. thing's a fire breather, man. Yeah. Fine tune the timing and find a muffler. Find a muffler. Make a muffler. Yeah, yeah, make a muffler for this one. Shoot it straight up in the air. Yeah, or Listen, something. Listen, little dogs in the neighborhood and everybody yelling out the window. Man, huh. wait till they hear it Sunday night. Yeah. Alright. Not bad there, buddy. Not yeah, bad. So that's the first time. Let's see if we can fine tune it a little bit. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to shut these guys down and let you play with it a little bit. <laughs> Alright. Mike's getting giddy. Look at it. Look at him. He likes that. Well, oh, that's pretty boy. cool. That's not bad at all. No. All right, I'm gonna shut him down. All right. All right, Mike did a little fine tuning here. There's not much he can do with this because the regulator only goes so high. I'll let him explain that to you. But also, what he did is he, we're gonna check the RPMs. He put a little piece of reflective tape because he has this uh, digital tachometer, and we're gonna see how fast it was going. Did you uh, adjust that? Uh, I did. I just backed it off a little bit. All right. So remember, wait, tell him, Mike. Tell him, Mike. Uh, you can't really adjust that. Uh, yeah, I don't have a lot because you know this this regulator only, is only going to put out one psi um, and not very much volume. So that's why it I've was getting this, a little backfire, right? Yeah, I, I have this valve here, and if I that's wide open right now. If I try to cut that even a little bit, the engine just cuts right out. So right. I need to get a bigger bigger regulator and like an accumulator time. Yeah. So I can better control it. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Let's see how many RPM this thing was. Also, you put a little handle on here, a little, little plastic coating so he wasn't going to rip his hand apart. Yeah, yeah, just to help a little bit. Alright, I'm going to try Go it. for it, buddy. Oh, 
that bike? About 120. Wow. Not bad. 120 RPM. Huh. Yeah, it didn't die. All right. Huh. Just put it right out. All right. Well, I think that's enough for the first one. Yeah. Guys, uh, by the time you see this video, Mike is probably already have one up because, as a courtesy, I'm going to let him put his video up first. And uh, and check his out. He probably have something a little different. But that'll be it for now. See you.